6 News Weather is brought to you by Bob Mills Furniture. Well, we have been dealing with that strong flow coming off the Gulf, so that's warm air advection, also it's moisture, and that has kept us not only with the warm temperatures, but a very moist atmosphere, also kind of a tight pressure gradient. Uh, yesterday we had a little wave move up the coast and then kick off to the northeast, and that's going over in this direction. We also have had this system now, it's moving toward the Great Lakes, but that counterclockwise circulation has set up a flow of cool air, and and it tail, tails down mainly close to the Red River. And while it doesn't have anything very obvious, what it's going to do then is it's going to shift our winds a little bit. So we're going to see a little bit of a bubble high back to the southwest of us. That'll throw us into more of a westerly flow. I had gone with the cloud deck kind of like we had this morning. The low clouds had a little drizzle, a little sprinkle, a little tinkle here and there. But uh, I think tomorrow morning if we can get this westerly component going, we'll see very few clouds. Also, if we can get a little westerly component, the temperatures are going to jump because that'll be dry air. Dry air heats more rapidly than moist air. So I think tomorrow we can be anywhere from uh, 88 to 92, and some of these western areas may actually get in the middle 90s. Now, this system up here is all wound up. Good counterclockwise circulation. It's going to kind of ride to the north a little bit, but we'll get a surge of cool air coming down behind it, and it'll dislodge some moisture coming in from the eastern Pacific, so we've got a good chance at precipitation mainly Tuesday night into Wednesday. So other than this little system north, there's not too much to look at, and we are going to see these temperatures now that have started to drop some that the skies have opened up, generally in the 70s, and then back to the northwest and west, there's low 70s, and you'll see overnight lows. Those areas will drop in the 50s, and we'll see 60s across the area, except down the southeast, deeper moisture, some low 70s. Sustained winds have dropped off. They're southerly now. They're at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we'll start tomorrow morning partly cloudy, generally run with the sun in the afternoon, south and southwest winds gust to 20. We'll start 68. We'll say 90. I think anywhere from 90 or 88 to 92, and then back to west middle 90s. Wind shift here, but we pick up up clouds overnight. We'll get that front moving in. Good chance of rain showers and thunderstorms. Shut it off Wednesday morning. The cool down begins and then our numbers are going to be closer to this time of the year. So that's your forecast back after the break.